My apartment is finally somewhat clean. I've had so many clothes like strewn about my apartment over the last two months because I've just been doing so much buying. Yo, what the fuck are you doing here? Dude, what the fuck? Vending or buying? I'm both. It's been a long time since I've seen this guy. I'm working. You get anything I like? No. Thank oh, God. actually, yeah, I got one. All right, we got some executive VIP parking. Time to get to buying. I'm a little bit late. First market in this video, the Portland Vintage Market. 1220, 1240, 380. What are you thinking? That's like a bundle. You wanna grab the smashing? Um, possibly. If you grab the smashing with all this, I could do 450. I'm at like two on these. If you did two on these, I would also do two on this. So it'd be four. So these three and it'll do five. 520. Firm at five. Or it'd be firm at these for four. Or these for two. Okay, let's do five. Perfect. Appreciate it, man. There's some throwbacks. Immortal Technique. Also the ASAP Rock. Oh, damn. Ain't no ASAP Rocky, boys. This one will probably not get ran on whatnot. Everything else that I got so far today will probably get ran on whatnot. Of course, as you guys know, every single Thursday. From the last episode, I did run quite a few pieces. I will be running a couple more from that episode this Thursday, as well as a lot of the stuff that I find today. I usually try to sell like 60 to 90 pieces, all auctions starting off at $1. And of course, if you have not signed up for whatever reason, make sure you do that. Top link in the description. And you do get $15 off your first purchase. Not to mention every single stream I start off with a nice little giveaway so even if you do not plan on buying you might as well sign up I'm planning on sleeping in my car tonight and uh, I might have to slow down because I've already spent $760 we are doing a lot of buying today my dog got this off the whatnot for 70 bucks after fees I basically broke even but what's sick is he already got offers for 110 I asked him how much he said it's price can you tell me what the price is someone teach Jacob how to read <laughs> what's the price say oh you want me to flip it around what's the price oh. say yeah <laughs> I should get this for free now if that's the price I know nothing about this but the graphic is Nuts. It's a love-hate relationship between me and this man. He hates me. I love him. Pineapple Fanta and deals. I have no idea who that is, but it's a cool little portrait. Maybe it's an artist. Maybe it's a grail. Maybe it's not. Do you guys know who this is? And this cool little tool long sleeve. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Pound the camera, pound the camera, bam. These were 50? So 150. And then you said 40? These were 10? Those are 30 Oh, 30? Oh, shit, okay. Oh, no, I want to do 390. Well, I really want to do $1, but I'm coming up quite a bit. I'm coming up 389 bucks. Let's do 400 even. Let's do 390 even. All right, whatever. You got me. All right, we'll do 395. We'll be in the middle, you know? <laughs> I appreciate you agreeing to 390. That way, you're a little more happy about it. Oh, this stuff you didn't want to show me, huh? These are all $5. <laughs> Gang shit. Um, he doesn't like my shit. Oh. It's too modern. He only buys 20s and before. Every week it gets a little bit oh earlier. My tan shit. Do you guys have anything from the 1700s? Oh, you guys are fucking with that modern shit, that 1800s shit? Y'all need to get on that true, true vintage. Yeah. I stay true to me, man. I stay true to the game. Did you guys have any trip pants stolen this? <laughs> Not today. Thank God, right? Of course, gotta visit the legend when I'm in Portland. Fucking hoodies, gas. Appreciate it. We got some beauties, boys. The window shopping is great in New York City. The designer furniture. The black ink, Harvard Square. This is just a cool ass shirt. The Goosebumps. Jim Morrison. The jellyfish <laughs> with the belly button hit. How did they get it so precise? Look at this. Right, right there. There's 124. 34 another 20 that I'm currently oxy cleaning. Oh, and this one is crazy. If you guys recognize that graphic, it's actually from Pearl Jam, or I guess the Pearl Jam T uh, is from this the Hourglass Nebula from the Hubble Space Telescope. So I probably got like 160 pieces down in Portland. First, I'll go over some of the personals. We got this Stephen King, I think I got it for like 10 bucks, and I knew that I recognized it, so of course, I picked it up.
Not bad. We got the OG Robert Crumb, who's probably mostly known for the artwork done with Grateful Dead. The Pink Freud, instead of Pink Floyd, you have Sigmund Freud right there. The old Copper Tone Advertisement T. It's on a 70s anvil. This kind of has that true vintage look. Then we have a little bit of a baggier tee. This one's super boxy. The window shopping is great in New York City. And as you can see, they are robbing this man. This also fits me really well. It's like a bike marathon tee. This right here is one of the main reasons why I had to make a stop after the Portland Vintage Market. You have a bunch of like designer furniture, like different designer chairs, and then you have the years that they were produced. I didn't really know what this was when I first grabbed it. I just kind of grabbed it because I liked the tea. My boy Ryan from Faded Show actually sent me what this is. Goosebumps tea. This might get sold. Pretty sure this is 70s. It's on a Ched Tag, the Sunshine Boys. Ooh, this fits me really nice. Rolling Stone Magazine, cool little artsy. Beautiful Santana. Kinda looking like a big box of Fruity Pebbles when I put this on, but still delicious. Yo, the Seether is hard. That will get sold later on, especially because I just got an Evanescence tee, so I gotta post those together on the gram. Beautiful Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream. Definitely thrashed, but I mean, this tee is just Insane. Even though I would like to keep all those, I'm sure some of them will probably still get sold. The majority of everything that I show you guys right now will be sold on whatnot. I'll be running some of the bangers from the last episode. Look at the back hit on that. And some of these pieces might make an appearance as well. Metallica, 1997 Fresca, Primal Wear, look at the sprocket. Reverend Horton Heat. I did not know what this was. I think I got it for like 30 bucks. It's a band. I've never listened to them. The Zodiac T Taurus. Although I'm not a Taurus. That's definitely one you want to get if you're trying to talk to a spiritual enlightened woman. Oh my god. That's just a shirt that I could see a Taurus wearing. The old screen stars Audi TT Roadster. Snakes on a Plane. A movie I've never seen. Tool long sleeve with the little sleeve hit. You have the lobster selling live people. Oh, and this one. You see the front. You see the back. The shirt is actually reversible. You got the Rolling Stones hit right there with the big tongue. Blind skate team. Balenciaga referenced. Why they don't just call them what they are. Little anti-smoking tee. The craziest Joe Montana licensed on a Salem rap style tee. Aesop Rock. No idea what this is, but super sick graphic. Oh, and this was kind of sick as well. Family tree of the 60s. Jimi Hendrix, Rolling Stones, Beatles, Bob Dylan, Elvis, Beach Boys. It's like almost hard to see, but there's just so many different legends from the 60s. By the way, I found this in the last one, but at this most recent flea market, I got this one to match. Those will also go on whatnot soon. It's like hard for me to stop showing. Look at the Pepsi. All right, you guys will see the rest of the stuff over time on whatnot. All of that was from just one flea market. But in this video, I have two other flea markets that I went to. One that is very near and dear to my heart, a local staple, the Tacoma Sunday Market. We're going to change stadium. Boom, right on front. Bro got a flat top too. It says no three records on the back. Got the address. Yeah, hard ass rap tee though. <laughs> this stadium is pure nostalgia for me. I used to live down the street, so I used to watch the fireworks shows on the 4th of July. People getting set up. Where's uh, Ren's booth? Are you seeing? I need to find Ren's booth. This sucks, bro. Where's Ren's? Oh, uh, where's the good booth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were hitting, bro. I'm gonna come out with you. How, how long till you get set up? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Amazing, amazing. Perfect day for a little flea market. What you got on the Super Sonics? Set this one aside for me, I'll get it. I just want to like get some other stuff too. Yeah, for sure. RJ, I got a shirt for you. <laughs> Can you break these out by price? Yeah, I've always wanted that one. How about 70? That's your personal? Yeah, I keep the closet long. I want this personal. How much is that one? 600 for all that. <laughs> you mean the little 670? 670? I'm doing the same shit. And you know it, like, you don't want to go. What, I leave? Man, doing this on whatnot. And you do this in live person, dude. I do it all, baby. I do it all. What's it good? How are you? $5, right? No, Ren, <laughs> is this a five dollar bag? Everything five dollars? I cannot tell this one yet. I know, I'm kidding. Forty? <laughs> yeah. It's double. But this one is good. It's double. Okay, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. All right. So it's a hundred, one twenty, mm -hmm. one sixty, okay. and then one seventy-five, and then you said twenty-five. One ninety. And then two ten. Thirty bucks. God. Bro. Damn it, man. Uh, do I have it? I think you have it at forty. 
Yeah. I'm just kidding. You have it at 70. 70? <laughs> I'll do 90 for you. <laughs> That's crazy. Put that in a maybe pile. We'll do like this. I don't know what the maybe pile is. Maybe he's like, I'm not at 85, basically. Or you can take it down and give me that BC Boys. What, take all this for the BC Boys? Damn! What? I mean... How much you got the BC Boys? I honestly don't know. I haven't even looked it up. This guy's trying to get my BC Boys, where you don't even listen to them. You know the best five rappers are? Dylon, 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 and Dylon. <laughs> what up? up? Hey, he's got the bad motor finger on right now. The back on that one. Look at that. Shoot that fuck. Yep. Fire. What's the lowest you think you could go on this? Uh, what else do you got there? I've been waiting for someone to find that one. <laughs> all right, 10, 20, 40, 50. Do 200 for all of it. Take 50 off of this. I'm close. Would you toss these two in on that? So call two? Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck, why not? Okay, perfect. Appreciate so you, man. 20 on this one and then 40 yeah, that, like a celebrity tax or some shit? No, bro, no. Yeah, why are you trying to hit me like that? That's crazy, oh. huh? What you got the Tacoma Rainiers at? 40. Where'd you grow up in Tacoma? Hey, what do you got on Nirvana? Two? A little bundle for 420 from my guy. Got me with a good bundle uh, down in Portland the other time too, so. A little Rainier's piece. Hometown classic, Rage, Grateful, and of course, a little Nirvana. I absolutely love when people understand bundles. Ezra always understands bundles. He always puts together a good bundle price. One of the last bundles of the day, a little hundred bucks for a bunch of hometown pieces, Tacoma Stars, Sabercats. I used to go to these games when I was in elementary school because D-Long used to give out free tickets. I bought both these today. We worked out a little bundle earlier today for 200. Then we added this, so it was 250. I bought this for 150. I bought this for 50. He is going to give me the bundle. That comes to 250 plus 100 on top. So basically like a 350 value. And I paid 200 bucks. Ouchie. Yeah, he said he's not gonna bid against me on whatnot that for at least, that was for two weeks. <laughs> What's on this one? Can't. I got a pile for you though. And it, for you, bro, I got a pile for you too. That shirt you? looks yeah. so bad on you. You do not want to get, you, that you don't part? want that shirt. It looks like shit. What are you? I'm a Christian man. So what do you think? Uh, so you, th you think, you think, you think Jesus would like this? No. And then I drink it. Take my shirt, go it on, and it's cold. These pieces that are running on Whatnot this Thursday are all from the Tacoma Sunday Market. Oh yeah, and this Japan Homies tea. Absolutely insane. A lot of these will also make it to this Thursday's Whatnot. I just crush something. As you can see, we started this video off with my apartment nice and clean, and once again, we are drowning in clothes. But I did get some good stuff. I got this Metallica, beautiful Grateful Dead. Another MC Escher, size small, sadly. Another Grateful Dead. Yo, this is sick. Speed wheels, I will need to oxy that, so sadly it will probably not make it in this Thursday's show. The Seattle Supersonics, the Californication. Red Hot Chili Peppers, arguably one of the greatest music videos of all time. Obviously looking back, the graphics aren't as insane as I once remembered, but I remember when I was younger watching that video when it would come on like MTV or VH1 and just thinking that it was so sick how they made a video game music video. Oh wow, I forgot that I got this. Sadly, it's got that little hole so that actually might be a giveaway. This MC Escher is pretty nuts. That's got quite a few holes, but it is nice and cropped. Damn, the Santa Cruz, that one is so sick. On the old NHS tag, which a lot of those like skate brands back in the day would use. Single Stitch Beethoven, that's so sick. Oh yeah. Yeah, I also got this uh, Kansas tee. Now I got a lot of cool pieces like that. A lot of them, like I said, will of course be ran on whatnot, except for maybe this Rage. I was gonna run it this Thursday, but I kind of want to keep it. Like this one is so sick. But what I was most excited about when it came to the Tacoma market was getting some hometown pieces. Hardly home, but I'm always repping. Tacoma Rainiers, this thing is way too baggy, but it is also way too beautiful. Nice little distressing around the collar, just like I like it. A Tacoma Stars piece, another Tacoma Sabercats piece. There's like so many that I almost forgot to show off. Damn! The Jinko, Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge, absolutely insane. Calvin and Hobbes Mushroom Tea, Dashboard Confessionals, that's hilarious. Damn, is this single too? Holy, that is absolutely nuts. <laughs> little. Snack tea, stoners, 
painted truffle. Oh, and then this, you have these like Toro cards. This is just a cool little piece that I'm probably gonna save for the website. It'll probably be another couple weeks before I get that ready since I'm headed to ThriftCon this weekend and I am driving all the way to Vegas camping in the car. That being said, I will be getting a website drop ready and then I'm hoping to drop 10 pieces on the site every single week. But until then, the only way to get a lot of the goods that I am showing you guys in this video is of course, I'm not even gonna say it. Link in the description. Oh, by the way, there was one other market that I went to recently, which is of course the Hangar 30 Flea. Thank you to my guy for getting me in. I was looking on his gram, he posted this Black Sabbath. I kind of want to work something out for, of course. We need to try it on. We got the cut sleeves already. The Mustang Ranch. So we're at 805 right now. What would you be more comfortable with? Can I try it on real quick? Yeah, bro. Right. Now, look, he, any sleeveless shirt is gonna make me look buff. I could go down on 100 and make it like 70. Even. Could I throw in like maybe two mid pieces? Make it seven even? Okay, perfect, we'll do that. This thing is beautiful. Appreciate you for the bundle. Uh, I actually met my guy in Phoenix and now he's back here in Washington. So, you know, nice seeing you out here. You pick out here? Yeah. Kent Goodwill, address on the screen. Actually, I think my dog is somewhere in the building right now. The guy who likes me shouting out Kent all the time. Yeah, so 250 for everything? It was originally It was 300. I'm gonna say uh, like 210. This is too good. Okay, you're cool with that? Okay, cool. I just didn't want to like, it's fair buy, prices, but then in my head, I'm trying to figure out where my profit is. You buy a lot. Yeah, thank so you. I wouldn't do that for anyone else. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you already know I'll be coming and spending <laughs> more money with yeah, you. You know, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Every market. You're giving me what, 175? No, 170 or 180 if you don't bid against me for a week. 175 and I don't bid against you for three days. <laughs> 45. Give me in the middle. Yeah. All right, then you get the 170. Fire. Fire. <laughs> We said he got this for 15 bucks. I'm at 30. I'm at 30. That's super fair. Got a little bundle for my guy. We got a hometown piece, the Taste of Tacoma. Nike tee is crazy. 1987, gray tag. If I remember correctly, this spells out Nike in like nautical whatever. Yeah, the vintage Columbias go hard. I love their patterns, their colors, but people be sleeping because it's Columbia, and I don't know why. If this exact same thing had a Patagonia patch right here, 150 bucks. Appreciate you, Sneak City fam. I got another four tees. We're gonna need a little bit of a community vote. Do we keep the sleeves at this kind of weird half sleeve length? Do we try to find replacement sleeves, or do we turn into a muscle tee with a little bit more of an exposed rib? Kind of like the Guns N' Roses, or the Metallica tee, or the other like motorcycle 3D emblem. Really any of those three tees that I've been wearing nonstop for the last several weeks. Did I say I got the Pearl Jam from the Tacoma Sunday Market? This is actually from the Hangar 30 flea. And you guys may have noticed this beautiful Puff Daddy that I did not address earlier in the video. 1997 Puff Daddy looking like an Eiffel 65 extra. I'm blue, I believe I die. Now the bundle that I bought at the end, one of the tees was for a friend of mine, someone who buys a lot and always supports the streams. But it also had this face-to-face, -face, super sick graphic. Another Eiffel 65 alien-esque character. Dude, I just noticed the graphic has like Luck 13 tequila with a little six shooter. And I also got this Anthrax. Super thin 88 Anthrax with the back hit. The first bundle was probably the biggest bundle that I bought. I got a couple personals. Obviously I got that Puff Daddy in that $700 bundle as well. I also got this 80s Black Sabbath, this thing is amazing. There's one other Black Sabbath tee that I want. Well, there's a couple, but there's only one that I probably want as much or possibly more, which is an 80s heaven and hell where the angels are smoking cigarettes. I just think that is hilarious. I also got this super cool <laughs> wide body, as you can see, bumper shoe crew neck. This thing is so wide, holy shit. But that is a personal. A lot of these are pieces that I will sell. This like insanely <laughs> bleached center check. If this was a little bit smaller, I would probably consider keeping because I actually really think the bleach job is sick. The 80s Nike reverse crew neck. If you see the weave of the crew neck is actually on the outside and the inside is well, like a normal crew neck sweater. Also kind of a cool little raglan cut. Continuing with the outerwear, we got the Columbia piece that you guys saw. These things are always nice. A really good, cheaper alternative to Patagonia fleeces. USA made, good quality, old Columbia is definitely slept on. I don't know what this is. Vigilante Lunatic Agency Patrol with the little 
Gun. Rolling Stone. <laughs> cool little peace sign tee. The Amsterdam Red Light District. Oh, this is sick. This isn't like actually drawn by Keith Haring, but it's like a Keith Haring style graphic. This needs a little bit of an oxy, but super dope Berlin wall tee. The Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. I love finding these old humanities. Oh, this is sick too. It's a dog eat dog world. Cool little graphic with a bunch of concentric circles. Oh man, once again, my apartment is filled with clothes. At least there's somewhat of a walkway into my living room, but as you can see, I can't lay on my couch. Almost every seating surface has clothes strewn about, but it is okay because we will be selling a plethora of heat on whatnot over the next couple weeks. I've been having a lot of fun buying, but I am probably gonna slow down just a little bit. I say that right before uh, ThriftCon Vegas. Okay, so I'll slow down starting next week. Of course, I'm gonna go ThriftCon Vegas. I'm gonna buy some stuff. That being said, I have so much stuff, but the reason I've been buying so much is because I don't want to run a whatnot show that just has 60 to 70 regular pieces. I could go to the thrift and I could probably make a lot more profit just buying the stuff in the thrift store and selling it on whatnot, but I feel like for the whatnot to be entertaining because it is a live stream, I have to also put in pieces that you just don't see come out every day. And I wanna have a good backstock of pieces so that way I don't have a bad show. Now I have an entire fourth storage unit dedicated to vintage pieces for my whatnot stream. Make sure you follow me on there, top link in the description. Like I said earlier, if you use that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase. I have a whatnot stream this Thursday. I normally do a whatnot stream every single Thursday. However, next week it will probably be on Sunday just because I still might be driving home from ThriftCon. Kinda wanna take a little road trip, a little break away and just go out and hunt for some stuff. Make sure you go follow me on there. Make sure you bookmark all the upcoming shows so you can stay notified when I go live. Also, make sure you follow me on my thrift page because I do announce what I am running on whatnot that week. Oh man, I do not want to clean this place up. I have a lot of fun at the local flea markets. Sadly, winter is approaching here in the Pacific Northwest and there will probably not be that many local markets for several months, but it is what it is. I got a lot of good stuff and honestly, after ThriftCon Vegas, I really just miss Drifting. I miss being out in the trenches. I miss going to the Goodwill bins and just spending the day looking for old clothes. That hunt, that thrill of finding something for like a dollar will never be beat. Anyways, shout out to every single person in the last video that commented. I do appreciate it. If you made it this far, of course, comments. Window shopping. There was like another really sick tee that I got, but uh, I can't find it and I don't know where it's at. But I'll show you guys in the next video. Of course, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it more than you know. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you from the top and bottom of my heart. I cannot say thank you enough, but I will say thank you one more time. I do appreciate you. As always, keep living the star life. Peace. And listen close.